Hey guys, uh, welcome back. Uh, in this video, I want to talk about uh, uh, MMSC IRC. Okay, so just a quick re recap of uh, what I have discussed in the previous video in this particular series. So I was talking about uh, MIMO MMSC equalization. So I just spoke about uh, the LMMSC estimator and we had seen a couple of equations. The model which I had chosen was y is equal to hx plus n. Okay. So considering this model uh, in the previous video, uh, you know, there was a derivation for MIMO MMSE, right? Mm, for MIMO MMSE, I had taken the linear estimator, which is uh, this particular equation. Okay. So uh, considering this, the derivation was done while doing the derivation. Uh, one important aspect was considered that is you know the expectation of noise and noise or emission this particular thing is equal to uh, sigma square identity so it was white noise and there was no interference at all okay but in this video i will be considering what if there is an interference okay so under this case we can say this can be a case one under this that under this uh, there was equation number one at this point uh, this was uh, you know r cross r which was very costly and then using woodbury's identity so we had derived an alternate equation which was actually t cross 3 which was uh, uh, a which was taking very less processing time right to do the matrix inversion and all that so considering that i want to talk about uh, you know MMSC IRC. So before that, uh, in most of the companies, okay, or in uh, startups, or in uh, your uh, academia, uh, if you are uh, testing uh, the wireless uh, uh, setup, okay, maybe uh, let's say you have a um, E node B uh, and U V as a setup, okay, then in which case. Uh, you would connect both of them using uh, uh, wired connections okay even it can be wireless also uh, but uh, let's say uh, you want to test in the beginning and uh, your uh, setup is uh, very simple there is let's say one uv and there is only one cell one network right and and also this is a, a wired connection in which case uh, whatever the equations uh, which we had seen till now for MMSC IRC that holds good okay um, so you might uh, uh, you know try to get the code from some third party and you want to develop a more advanced code on top of it then you then if you see uh, those companies would have developed um, a very simple uh, algorithms where they will consider uh, you know this noise is AWGN and uh, uh, white noise and there is no interference based on this they would have developed a lmmsc algorithm which we had seen just now okay where my rnn is just a sigma square identity this works perfectly fine but the same code if it is taken to the real scenario real deployment scenario then it might not work okay so to ensure that uh, the code works even in the real time deployment scenario uh, and it works even in, under interference case uh, so we need to look into what is known as uh, MMSC IRC okay. so in this the model changes something like that earlier my model was y is equal to hx plus just n now there can be interference n bar okay so this is the interference term so together we can let us say together we can model it as a noise for now but definitely this is not a simple noise so we can model it as noise so then uh, you know my r n r n n tilde will be expectation of uh, um, you know uh, n tilde n tilde r mission this is not identity okay so considering this uh, let us see what will be the equation for uh, irc and what is the equation that we should be implementing in our code so 
one thing is that as i was telling if you are taking the code from the third party they would not have considered the interference is one thing and uh, when they have written the simple code definitely that particular code will work for only simple features right and uh, when you want to develop and um, you know when you want to develop and uh, uh, take it to the next level to ensure that uh, your software or your code is enriched with many advanced features okay for example multi user mimo and all then definitely even you know under multi user mimo scenarios you need mmsc irc algorithms for the receiver to work okay so now thing is what is this interference this interference could be you know the interference from other cell okay so can it be the interference from other uv present in the same cell uh, while let's say you are decoding uh, the data for uh, uh, some other uv here so i will let you guys to comment uh, uh, about it in the uh, comment section so i will not go to that now coming to the model we have y bar is equal to uh, hx bar plus n tilde okay this includes interference as well noise plus interference now based on that uh, i have uh, i had a derivation done already so i am going to present that okay here slightly the equation is uh, slightly different uh, so y bar is equal to hx bar plus n tilde i had considered right so equate okay equate the appropriate terms and get the value so here it is written sigma square i but let's say for now this is not the sigma square i it is just rw okay considering the interference so based on this earlier we had seen that to my uh, you know this x at okay x at is given by this particular equation please try to replace uh, uh, the equations with the corresponding uh, values okay here x bar maps to y bar and your theta bar maps to x bar all right w bar maps to your n tilde so this is a generic expression but we need to definitely substitute the values for these two things so considering that uh, if i if i calculate those two things i will get these two equations i will not go through the derivations i will let you guys to go through by pausing the video so then after substituting in one then i will get this equation okay earlier we had seen the similar equation but uh, where you know this was uh, this was just identity right uh, sigma square r cross r now this is not identity now the thing is this matrix inversion is again r cross r which is very costly right which where you know number of receiver antennas will be greater than transmit antennas again on a similar lines so using woodbury's identity uh, you know we can derive the more the more optimal equation that is given by here okay so as you can see this rw i have not taken it as identity it includes the interference and this is the final equation and if you see this matrix inversion it is t cross t matrix inversion uh, pretty much uh, less time intensive okay but what about rw inverse rw inverse is actually r cross r matrix and you can say this is uh, this will be costly but there are ways um, where you can uh, use or where you can derive this uh, r cross r matrix inversion for the interference much uh, simpler way by assuming certain things okay certain things means noise you can think that it could be uh, you know some constant for some some rbs or th things like that okay i will let you guys to decide while you are writing the algorithms for uh, such kind of uh, um, scenarios so by intelligently or by assuming a few things we can bring down the computation of this one and still you can ensure that the algorithms were algorithm work pretty much good since this is just a t cross t as you can see this the equation number 5 the complexity is less whereas our earlier equation number 4 the complexity is very high okay 
So now you got to know for MMSC and IRC what is the equation that you are supposed to implement and uh, how you can uh, uh, reduce uh, the complexity for this uh, noise, noise inversion, right? Noise uh, covariance matrix inversion. And uh, um, and you got to know that these kind of equations are pretty much required for uh, deployment uh, uh, grade deployment grade receivers and even when you want to work on advanced features like uh, multi-user MIMO and all. So I hope uh, all the things are clear, what equations to be implemented and all, and the application also you got to know, interference also you got to know. So that's all I had uh, uh, to discuss uh, in this particular uh, uh, video, okay? So if you have any doubts, uh, please uh, um, let me know via comments. And uh, if you're looking for more videos like this, please do subscribe to the channel. It gives a lot of motivation to continue further and to bring in more videos. Thank you very much. Have a great day. Bye-bye.